Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. Today I'm going to show you the basics of Projection Man. So what Projection Man is, is it allows you to project photographs onto geometry in Cinema 4D. So it's used a lot if you have matte paintings and you want to add a little more life to it. You can project it onto geometry, you can move your camera around, you can get a lot of parallax and do a lot of stuff that you can't do with just a still. You get a lot more flexibility than splitting it up in After Effects and doing a 2.5D. It makes it a lot easier to do a lot of things. So let me show you just the basics of it in this tutorial. I'll go into more detail in a later tutorial, but for now let's just start with the basics. So as you can see here, there's a big box right in front of you. So what we want to do is split this box up so we can project it onto some geometry, move the camera around it to make it look like it's a little more than just a still photo of a box. So if we want to move the camera around, what we have to do is paint out a little bit of the box. So if we move around it, you're going to see a little more of the floor. So we have to make more of the floor behind it. So I went ahead and did this. I painted out the whole box, but really, depending on how much you move, you really might only have to do a little bit of corner. So since we're going to move, you're also going to see this stuff right here. This is standing straight up, so if we move the camera, we need to make it a separate object for this. So I went ahead and made oops, sorry, made a separate object right here for this. So let's hop into Cinema 4D and take a look at what we need to do next. So the first thing we have to do is load up our image. A quick way to do it, let's just make a background object. Let's toss our photograph on here. I already had it loaded in. So what we have to do is line up our camera. So I went ahead and did this already. Lined up our, I named the projection camera just to keep it simple. It's also a good idea to toss a protection tag on here. Just so now we, there's no way we can move this. So if we start projecting, you never want to throw off your camera because it'll mess everything up. Next thing we need to do, let's make our ground plane. Hey, look, there it is. So now let's get to projecting. So what we have to do is go to Window, Projection Man. It'll load up this thing. It'll load this guy up. So now what we have to do is grab our object that we want, in this case the ground. Let's drag it right underneath our projection camera. Let's go Load Bitmap. Let's go to Box, Open. Now we need to choose our Luminous Channel and our Alpha Channel. So I'm, in this case I want all of these. I don't need an Alpha, so I'll hit Disabled. And there we got our ground in there. It's looking looking lovely. Let's turn the grid off so we can see a little better. So the next thing we need is our box, which I already built. So in this case, I just lined it up. I extruded down. I extruded the inside down so we get the little bit of parallax on the inside of the box. So let's do the same thing. We just drag it underneath our box.psd so it's the same object. Click on our box layer. I Still don't need an alpha since I lined it up so perfectly well. Let's hit OK. And there's our box. Now let's get these background guys. I made a just a cube for this one. So let's drag this box of PSD. So we just use our middle one here. And for our alpha, this time we need an alpha. I'll just click this alpha right here. Hit OK. So it looked like it didn't load up, but it really is. So let's go up here and click on our texture tag. Right here where it says side, let's change this to both. So what happened was it's projecting our texture onto the front of the cube, but it isn't projecting it to the back of the cube. So it cuts out the front, but you still see the back. So what this does is it just shoots it through the entire object so it works like we need it to. So I already made a camera. I just did a move straight down like this, which is kind of a cheap move because it's making it so I don't have to paint too much so you can see this is the back of the box that we had to paint in I can't do too much of a move because in our original image you never see the sides of the box so I can't move around to look at it because there's nothing there so if you look here this is our scene let me get rid of this background so you can see so our projection camera is right here projecting this geometry onto our objects and then everything else is just kind of shooting off into space as far as we can see. So here's our little background objects we made. Here's our box. And as you can see, there's there's no side of the box. So we can't really go around because there's nothing there. There is a way to fix this, but I'm going to get into that in a future tutorial for now. Let's just take a look at what we get. 
Let me render this bad boy out so you can see what we have here. So it renders really fast because it's really just a still photo shot on a geometry. There's not really much calculation going on. It doesn't have to think about too much stuff. So we can go down here and it's looking... Maybe I got a little too close. You can see it's getting pixelated and weird. But it's not that bad for how long we spent on it. So let's watch it back and... Uh, I mean, you can see my, my edges don't really line up very well. I could have done a better job. If I had an alpha channel on it, would have cut it out better. So it adds a bit of life to this still photo we really had. Oh, actually, this doesn't really line up very well either. So you have to go in and... There's a lot of tweaking involved in a lot of cases. So in this case, I'd have to go in, tweak my ed box edges, or I could make an alpha channel for it. This down here doesn't quite line up, this little tube. So I can fix all that. But what I wanted to show you in this tutorial was just the very basics of Projection Man. So check back to digitalsandwich.net and I will show you how to do way more with Projection Man. This is really just barely even scratching the surface. There's so much I want to show you about this. So you're going to have to check back to see more. Alright, for Digital Sandwich, this is Glenn. See you later.